Let's talk about aperture. Aperture is the diameter of an opening inside the lens that controls the amount of light reaching the, the sensor in the camera, okay? Or the film in a actual film camera. Basically, you have a lens and there's a little bitty opening in the middle of it, and it can be wider, it can be smaller, and that is the aperture. And the aperture is a mechanical way of controlling the amount of light hitting the sensor in a camera. And the aperture is actually uh, determined in, in settings called f-stops, okay? And we're going to go into that a little bit more, but right now I'm just hitting on the topic of aperture. And I'm also going to hit on, let's talk about the next topic, aspect ratio, okay? Aspect ratio has to deal with the dimensions of the screen, not the actual size of the screen, but the relationship of the vertical to the relationship of the horizontal. Okay, in, six, in uh, 16 millimeter film, and also in, uh, in broadcast television before the digital HD came out, uh, it was four by three. Four units, horizontal, by three units, vertical. Okay, so it was a little bit wider then it was tall. And that, was, that made a dimension that looked sort of like it was almost square, but a little bit, little bit wider, okay? Four by three. Then when HD came out, we had 16 by nine. 16 by nine. 16 units horizontal by nine units vertical. Okay, so it was a lot wider than it was tall. Now there are tons and tons of aspect ratio standards. It's not just four by three and 16 by nine. There's probably about 20 different standards that are commonly used for aspect ratio. But in broadcast television, it's either four by three or 16 by nine. And this causes a lot of trouble because when we're going from one to the other, since they don't fit, you have the problem of making a 16 by nine look good on a four by three or a four by three looking good on a 16 by nine. Uh, the two methods of uh, going like the four by three is you do a letterbox where uh, there's black above and below and you put the 16 by nine within the four by three image. You can also do an anamorph where the 16 by nine is compressed into the four by three so everybody appears tall and skinny. And so it's either letterbox or anamorph. <clears throat> if you're going up from four by three to 16 by nine, you can stretch it out Everybody gets a little wider, okay? So they're not dimensionally correct. Everybody looks a little fatter in it. Um, or you can uh, pillar box it where the four by three is in the middle with black on the right and left of the 16 by nine image. And that is, the, that is the basic on aspect ratio, but you need to be aware of it when you're going between standards. You know, now, back when the majority of monitors were four by three, it was typical to go to a, uh, when you had an HD 16 by nine and you were going to four by three standard def, you would just, you would letterbox it. But now since most of the monitors are 16 by nine and they expand the image of four by three and make it wider, you go with an anamorph where everybody's compressed in the four by three and you take it and you fit it to the screen. That's because now everybody's watching on a 16 by nine rather than a four by three.